Southampton, a city with a population of over 250,000 people, a city full of various cultures, a city full of various types of people. But are we connected? Are we really a community? Welcome to SO14. What would you say is the best part about Southampton? Not much. <laughs> now, you're probably wondering, why are two goofy looking teenagers making a documentary about Southampton out of all places? Well, me and my sister were talking about her experiences and I knew I had to record it. Yeah, that's all good. Okay. Um, me and my sister were just walking down and there's a pub on one of on one side of the high street and there was a, about three or four guys stood outside. And as we walked past, they shouted out packies. Um, and then another time that an incident happened was when I was walking in the common with my friend, she's a Muslim as well, you know, just walking along and then there was two guys on the bike. As they went past us, we didn't even turn around to see them, mm. but as they went past us, one of them pulled my headscarf right back off my head. The second incident was really, really scary because I actually had it pinned with oh. a pin, safety pin. Yeah. Yeah. So no, that was that was for me it was it was just absolutely shocking. I just couldn't believe it that someone can just out of nowhere they don't even know you, you've done nothing to them. You've not even I've not even I didn't even see them mm. basically. Yeah. I didn't even have any eye contact with them, and then just all of a sudden they just come from behind you and just pull do something like that. Yeah, it just makes me question whether there's actually a sense of community in Southampton. What? My ignorant self was surprised. I wanted to answer this question. I wanted to find out if there is a sense of community in Southampton. Let's do this. Let's do this thing. Do you want to be in another uh, documentary? No, that's okay. That's Sorry to bother you. Um, no, you're all good? I'm in a documentary about Southampton. You're not interested now. Nah, say no more. That's cool. Where are you from? London still. What part of London? North West. See, I moved to Hertfordshire and that, and then came over here for uni and that. Yeah, 50 years, 50 years. Okay, so you, you, you get a good feel for, this, for the city then? Yeah, it's alright, yeah, it's alright, man. I'm used to it now, isn't it? So, what would you say the difference is between North West to Southampton? Southampton's quieter still. So obviously London's big, isn't it? When, when you look at like, the culture from North West, what would you say is different from the culture from here? Well, it's different. Yeah. <laughs> it's different. The girls, the way girls move, the way men move, like... I don't know, it's a lot of things different, isn't it? What do you mean by that? Explain that. I don't know, man. It's, <laughs> it's a bit political, you get me? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. You, if you know, you know, innit? Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's local. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Especially where I am, everything's local, innit? Yeah. I ain't got to take the bus or train and that or drive nowhere. It's, everything's local. That's what I like about Southampton, to be fair. Okay, yeah. I think um, there is, like, 100%. However, it's a bit of a, a disjointed one, do you know what I mean? This is Joseph the young creator of Genesis Worn, a clothing brand thriving in Southampton. I've always been into fashion and that. My mate came to me with an idea of a brand and then we started working on that and that, but I was always into graphics, so I just kept going with it, you know what I'm saying? And then we sort of separated ideas from there. I came up with Genesis and then since then like, I've just been going at it, you know what I mean? Like, I actually was in like a argument, not an argument, but a debate with this older guy last night. Uh, he was saying like, oh, you need to show like this specific crowd and all of this. He was saying, I've been trying to put Southampton on the map for 40 years. And I was like, he was saying, basically, I can't do it. Do you know what I mean? Who is this guy? Just some random guy. It's just basically saying, I've been trying to do that. And I was like, he just didn't like the idea that I was trying to say that kids can mix with older kids and learn. Do you know what I mean? I reached out to the Overdraft because I go there a lot. And my brother's been going there. I do some DJ sets there. And they were like very accommodating, like just for let me do my whole collection with them. And honestly, the like support I got from people was insane, you know, I mean, sold out everything, so it was gas. But yeah, I just want to say like keep watching what we're doing, do you know what I mean? Like, it's not watch what I'm doing and you're not a part of it, like come and get involved, do you know what I'm saying? If I can help in any way, I'll be down to do that, do you know what I mean? Joseph is an example of the optimistic youth in Southampton. But what about someone who's lived and worked in Southampton for far longer? I'm Simon, I'm 52 and um, I've lived in Southampton since 89. I currently work at the Southampton General Hospital, part of the therapy team in vascular. The kind of thing I've uh, learned about Southampton. Um, I suppose 
the health inequalities. You know, people are aware that drinking, smoking, and, and, and all that is unhealthy. But I think there's the ones that have gotten to be quite financially stable people, and then there might be the ones that are struggling financially. I think some of those, it's easy to kind of comfort eat and have those small pleasures in life. I know that um, we're very multicultural, but then other cities are as well. Um, we've got a lot of uh, the Filipinos that have come over here and they settled in Southampton. Um, and that's great. They bring a lot of really good skills to the hospital. Um, Southampton is one of the leading hospitals for cardiac, uh, for heart. Um, surgery and things like that and also I think it's well renowned for you know vascular patients as well. I find that sometimes within the individual bays there's almost like they develop their own little social group and they help support each other. We've got quite a vulnerable young lady who's going through a lot and the ladies on the ward are really supportive and encouraging and motivating and um, when that person does something successfully, they're really supportive. And they're, they're being very kind to her. It's a very scary environment for anyone, but especially when you're younger. So I've discovered that. And it, that has a knock-on effect, not only to the patients, but also to the staff. So what, 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 do you know, what do you know Southampton the most for? I actually don't know, just for shopping, really, yeah. What would you say, what could you say about the people that you meet here? Really nice, actually. There's, it's very diverse, there's so many different types of people, and it's, they're very accepting, so we're nice. Everyone seems kind of like chilled, mellow, and, you know, no stress. Would you say, what would you say has more culture, then? Oh, probably here, yeah, yeah. Everyone where I live, like, is, like, the same, if that makes sense. So, like, you're a bit different, it's a bit weird. Whereas, like, here, like, it's normal to be creative and stuff. What could you say about working in Southampton when it comes to, like, being a manager, especially, and the kind of people that you meet? Uh, I would say you get a big mixed variety of people. You've got everybody from students to foreign to English to old to young. Um, it's a really good variety and good mix, actually, to be fair. It's got some nice areas to it, to be honest with you. and. Even like the areas that are perceived as bad, they're not that bad as what the stereotype is, I guess you could call them. While pondering how to conclude this documentary, something Simon said came to mind. Well, I've discovered over the last week that, you know, when people are in hospital, they really do build up a relationship with each other. And, uh, you're right with that, with the social aspect, the community almost. They're all going through the same thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, 100%. That's really interesting. And it doesn't matter what um, they come from, what kind of lifestyle they come from. Because yeah. they're Whether all in that they're situation, aren't they? They're, they're, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Whether they're well off, you know, or not, that's gone. Because they're all in the same situation. You know, none of them planned what was happening to them. Southampton is a community. A community of humans, imperfect. Nothing binds us more together, like the passion of who we are and where we live. SO14 is our home.